Hey guys, this is Noman from Team WCC. Uh, just coming by here to give you a quick deck profile on the Luard deck I played in the North American Bushiro at Springfest Online Regionals. I ended up fourth place after top eight. Uh, lost in top, uh, lost uh, against Stephen Lee actually for, uh, playing for third. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a rundown of what I played. I uh, also want to give a couple of shout outs that are very well deserved. My first shout out goes out to Ryan Kai. He's the one who actually built the deck for me and taught me how to play it, taught me the combos. Without him, uh, I, I wouldn't have topped with uh, Luard for once. I'm pretty happy about that. Finally got my Shadows top. But yeah, um, thank you so much, Ryan, for you know making the list for me, teaching me how to play. I truly appreciate everything you've done for me. Next up uh, is Cam, Solom, and Toby. They're the ones who I initially like actually tested with. Uh, they gave me the rundown on the entire meta, how to play through like matchups and everything. Thank you so much for helping me out. And then uh, the rest of the shoutouts go to Team WCC as a whole. I appreciate you guys. You're the best team I could ever ask for. Uh, without you guys, you know, like cheering me on when we're just chilling in Discord throughout the video or throughout the uh, tournament. Uh, yeah, just thank you for the laughs and support. So uh, I actually want to show off something. Since uh, we got a top of Luar at last, we can uh, actually do this profile on the giant part, you know? May as well bust it out for something. So, all right. Anyways, let's just get straight into the profile. So, I played uh, the typical V series starter. Nothing too important there. Next up, uh, like, the list is like pretty standard aside from like the Ryan Kai stuff. Uh, four Luard, uh, three Drag Driver. You only need three because you can keep Soul Blasting it out and then putting it back into deck. So, nothing too important with that. Great twos. Four more Fessa for Leofall. Uh, pretty staple, uh, Leofall being the most important thing for your turn two, being able to just rush your opponent when you go uh, uh, first, and then to go in second, you farm cards with Owl. Very important there. And then next up is the four Nice. Uh, I played this over the Branwin, because RK had a fantastic point. Is uh, Not only is it top seven, but you can get a Leofall, and having double Leofall it has it's just been way too important for this meta. Because going first, you can just rush your opponent in and try to get them in that uh, sweet spot of four damage to where every attack you're hitting with is lethal and pressures with the Vanguard, so they're going to PG it just so you don't hit a crit. And then, uh, this was the main thing, the Apocalypse Bats. Uh, this is what actually enabled me to play through the Prism matchup. Prism farms so many cards so fast that you really need the fifth attack to actually whittle down their hand. And, uh, yeah, yeah like, the, the Bats, I, I prefer the Bats version over the actual, like, normal Luard list. Uh, if you want to see, like, gameplay on it, I'd highly recommend checking out Ryan Kai's channel. He has plenty of gameplay with, uh, Bat, I think he called it, uh, Bat Luard. Here you'll find, just type in, like, Ryan Kai Luard, and you'll find plenty of gameplay. Uh, two painters, you know, put the Bat in, can't really risk one going into damage. It's also, like, 10k beat, so... Pretty cool there. Uh, two of the one that allows your grade ones to intercept. Uh, I think two is like very important for the mirror because like, if you only have one, they're gonna pop it with Luard and you lose out on shield. But if you have two, they're not really gonna bother with it. So just play two of those. Uh, two Sharon, three bats, or three uh, owl, whatever, flying animal. This is supposed to be uh, pretty standard. And then the only change I had from Ryan Kai's actual like initial list he gave me is I played two of these instead of one. This is the uh, 20K booster. He played the grade one that says on guard circle, soul blast one. Move a grade one from your rear guard to uh, the guard circle. I didn't play this because it was like particularly better or anything. I just didn't own a copy of that grade one. But I, I, I definitely enjoyed, you know, the booster. So that was fine. Trigger lineup, four heal, four draw PGs, four crit, my bad, eight crit. Uh, pretty, pretty standard. There is one thing I want to try out that uh, RK also mentioned is where you play like one or two grade one main deck PGs and uh, you like cut out the draws for like uh, more crits just because you can put them back in a deck with reward skill, and it's also more shield for the hobby all matchup. I haven't tinkered with it or anything, but I don't know, maybe maybe RK will put up some videos trying it out. Um, we'll just wait on that. But uh, yeah, that, that pretty much like sums it up. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, DM me on Twitter and or Facebook, whatever contact you can get with me. And I uh, appreciate it. Uh, see you later.